Somebody told me to look at this. Come on. This. Why do I got a bank statement in the mail uh, uh, with an account that I don't know nothing about? First of all, don't come in here yelling at me about no account. I have an account to make sure I'm good. That's why the account is there. Why are you taking money out of account where I don't know? You are my husband. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm not. If we uh, were to ever get divorced, I'm not about to be out here for nothing. We gotta make sure we good. Yes, this don't no. got nothing to do with you sitting taking money out of account. That I work hard for. Do you not work for us? Are we not a family? You want? Don't this you want is me working to be good? for you. This ain't working for no, us. No, it is. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm a woman. If I, if you were to leave me, I need to be okay. What is the problem? You need to be a problem. Okay. You're a stoke. You know what's wrong with Chris? Listen, check this out. At the end of the day, you can account for that. I have to make sure I'm good. I can't. I can't. I'm not about to argue with you about money. You are so. Wow. So she took 20k out of his account. For him to not know, that, that screams to me that she was plotting her way out. She was planning to divorce soon. At least that's what it tells me. Anyone else in the comments, what do you think? Also, there's a lot of manipulative energy coming from her. When he asked her, why are you stealing money from my account? Instead of answering the question, she says, you ain't going to be yelling at me. She's trying to manipulate a way to make him look like the bad guy. Now, I will be fair. We don't know what's happening in this household. She might be plotting her escape for a reason. She might not feel safe there. And I've heard stories where women will feel trapped in a relationship, in a house with kids. They just feel trapped and it's dangerous there. But stealing 20 Gs is just not how you do it. I'm not about to argue with you about money. You are so no, I'm talent. not. No, I'm not. Everything I've done for us, are you serious? You mad because I'm putting everything you've done for me? Everything you've done for me? I'm the one working. I'm the one putting in the time. You cannot be for real right now, Keith. Everything I do for us, and you're mad that I put a little money to the side for me? A little? she said i'm not gonna argue about your money okay i don't even care it's already in my account that's already in my account she really feels like that money is hers too she said what you gonna do about it what you gonna do beat me sue me which what bruh $22,000 is just a little bit of money to you, huh? I gotta go and work for that money. But it's just a little bit to you, huh? I'm not about to argue with you about it. Like I said, if we were to get... If we were... You were really break up today, then what am I supposed to do? We to, I have to have something. And if you we were to break up today, straight. you would be A-OK, -okay, my friend. Because you still been stealing the money for I don't know how long. going to make me OK. $22,000 is not going to make you no. OK. Some people don't make that in a whole year. This is a guilty ass face, bro. <laughs> guilty. Now, also, there was a part that she said that we made an agreement. I'm going to be charitable here. A lot of men, what they'll do is they'll tell their woman, hey, you don't got to work. Just stay at home, cook food, clean the house and raise the kids. That's all you just stay at home. You don't got to work, baby. I'm going to save you. Da -da 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 -da. 
So we would call this like a more traditional relationship where one of the partners make most of the decisions for the relationship. And a lot of the times they're the breadwinner. They're making all the money for the family. A traditional man commits to the relationship fully. He doesn't cheat. He's loyal to his partner. He has to make sure that the relationship stays strong and healthy. Now, anyone that's doing this, please be careful. If the person making all the money is a narcissist, when they don't like what you're doing, they'll threaten to kick you out because they know you don't have money. So they use this as like a bargaining chip to get you to behave. And this is how women can get trapped in a household, especially when they have kids. Because like, now you have your kids. How are you going to support your kids and yourself? You don't have no job. You don't got a car. You, this is what I'm talking about. He could be dogging her this whole time, and that's why she's trying to escape. This is a possibility. I like to see both sides, guys. One thing I will say, because she keeps saying, well, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. It sounds like she's saying, well, break up. Divorce me. Divorce me. If your woman or person really loved you, they wouldn't be sitting here saying, well, just do it. Just do it. Like, they don't give a fuck. It makes me feel like she got another person on the side. And then once that divorce happens, she's going to go with be with that guy. That's how I'm seeing it, y'all. I don't know about you. Look in the comments. Let me know what you think. So let me ask you a question. If I took twenty two thousand dollars from you, that'd be okay. You my husband. Do what you need to do. But no, you wouldn't be taking. Of course, you're saying that when you're not the person working ten, twelve hours at a time. Of course, you're not gonna say that. Of course, you cool with it. Kid, you so mad about this money? What are you gonna do about it? I'm not giving it up. What am I gonna do about it? My nails ain't even done right now. What? What am I gonna do about it? Okay, check you out. She said, my nails aren't even done right now. Dog, fuck that. We ain't talk about her no more. Dog, this is who you married? This is who you picked? It sounds like you dated a very materialistic person. For her to say that shit is crazy. That sounds like a very materialistic person. And you told her she don't got to pay bills. She could just live with you. And you've been giving her allowance because she said that you've been giving her money. It sounds like you got what you paid for. Hmm, take your receipt. We don't do returns. Jesus ain't die for this. A loving relationship, guys, don't look like this, bro. I, I'm, they might they might be both be toxic, y'all. For her to feel like she couldn't ask, just ask for the fucking money, it means either one, he's not providing for his side of the relationship, or two, she doesn't appreciate what he does for her. She met someone while he was doing his 12-hour shifts every day. She felt lonely, met someone, and she's planning her way out. That's how I see it, y'all. What do y'all think about this? Guys! We just made it to 1 million followers. Everything that we've been posting, the TikTok story times, I never thought we would, would get this far. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know y'all like them. So can you please follow the page for me? And outside of all this dead gang, remember, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far. Do not forget what you did all this work for. And I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not finna live it being no weak motherfucker. On dead and them, we got work to do. So pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced. But it was so easy to throw us away. And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be. I fucking love you, but not more than me. When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regret. You acting different, I'm peeping on that. I really wanted to stay till the end. But I gotta take off these rose colored glasses. And know when it's time for me to walk away. So I can say we wanted different things. All of this effort, I'm tired of asking for it. Why did you ask me to commit? I see where this is going, it's into a ditch. <laughs> it's breaking my heart, cause I know that it's one that you dig. You really thought I would lay up in it. But I let you go, cause I know that I tried. Cry.